And people always ask me, uh, like what your kids being black and Jewish, what does that make them? I call them my little jiggers. <laughs> and one of the benefits of having uh, uh, black and Jewish kids, half of them are really good at sports, the other half is really good at hide and go seek. <laughs> I was like, this is a piece of some people pay attention to Anne Frank, I guess. <laughs> hey, but, uh, you know, uh, one of the, the reasons why we, I was married with her for five years, and um, I learned a lot of Hebrew over the year. I was telling Bubba I'm a Hebrew Israelite, and uh, I learned a lot of Hebrew. For example, Boba Tov means good morning. Shalom means peace. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Thank you, thank you. And then, uh, if means wrong pole. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that sucked about her, she didn't believe in the second coming. Street for a almost sold out crowd in Victoria, Texas. <laughs> it's not the only highlight of my career. <laughs> I got to do some stuff. I got to perform in the Rio Grande Valley. Yeah. Only in the valley you can get a taco, a lap dance, and a pound of weed all in the same way. <laughs> yeah. When I was up there, I was actually featuring. Uh, this dude come up to me, he was like, you are all right, Do you got a DVD or CD I can buy it off you, way? He buys my CD. But next thing I know, he starts flirting with me. Like, I'm gonna need a shot in a little bit. He starts flirting with me like I'm a woman. And I was like, oh shoot, what did I do to make this dude think I was gay? I didn't say that out loud, because he just bought a CD. So I'm showing customer service at this time. And so he keeps on flirting me and flirting me. I was like, something, dude, I'm not fucking gay. And right before I was about to tell him, he says, Are you a Sagittarius? I was like, Oh my gosh, how did you know? Oh shoot, he saw me get excited. So now he thinks that I'm into him. How am I gonna get myself out of this situation? So I try to walk away, but then he offers to buy me a drink. And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> so I took the drink, but at this point I'm not mad about him being gay anymore. I'm mad because he's the masculine one in the situation. Because <laughs> I can understand if he was like, hey, how you doing? Boo? Like, he wasn't like flat boy. He was like, so what's up? You know what I mean? What up? You know, woo, woo. Like, he, and like low key, like he kind of had game. Like, I like, I like women. <laughs> but like, I was kind of curious about, how did you know, like, I was a Sagittarius. He was like, because you wear your heart on your shoulder. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and so this chick, she taps me on the shoulder. She was like, you were all badass, man. <laughs> she said, let me find out. I was like, find out what? She said, let me find out that you're Carlton Banks. <laughs> She said, if I ever met Carlton Banks in real life, I'll make love to him. I just went like this. <laughs> and then I get a tap on the shoulder. Hey, bro. I said I lost your attention. I just want to let you know that girls are going to get you in trouble. And he just walked off. And I kind of felt bad. So I went looking for him. <laughs> I just want to tell him, hey, bro, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> I'm black, cock, intolerant. 